and um, thank you for inviting me to be here tonight. Um, I'm going to talk about um, two initiatives, uh, two innovative initiatives which Focus Ireland undertook within the past three years. It doesn't explain Focus Ireland, they're two small initiatives I suppose relative to the size of Focus Ireland. But I'll confine my uh, uh, talk to these. One of them is called the National Family Programme. And this is a programme which we started now nearly three years ago. And it was targeting uh, the most entrenched uh, families who were homeless. Uh, these were families that were homeless the longest. Many of them five years, six years, seven years. Um, there were families that basically were cast aside. Many of them uh, were in that situation because they had been evicted by the local authorities because of non-payment of rent or because of um, uh, their behaviour, antisocial behaviour. And when that happens, they're left homeless for years. Um, and they're living in a highly inappropriate conditions like awful B&Bs, awful private rented sector, or maybe in a room in a hotel. Highly inappropriate for the parents, highly inappropriate for the children. There were 136 families in Dublin in that situation. And they were the families that we targeted. And how do we do it? We do it, did it by putting in place a multidisciplinary team made up of people with different kinds of skills, childcare workers, housing officers, um, social workers, community workers. And they're working together intensively with the families, working to help these families who were, children were traumatized and so were the parents, helping these families to find their way back into society and did it by working to restore their self-respect, to restore their self-esteem and their pride, and to empower them to take responsibility for their lives, to support them and empower them to do that. And, and it worked. Now, nearly three years, it was a pilot scheme, first of all funded by Focus Ireland, then uh, the, the regional homeless um, program came behind it and funded it. Um, but it was very much a pilot scheme. And at the end now of that pilot, which we hope will be continuing into the future, uh, 126 of the 136 families have been housed. None of them have returned to homelessness and most of them live without support. And I suppose this, uh, it, it does mark a paradigm shift because these families were families that were literally left there. And the question that was asked with regard to them was, what do we do with these dysfunctional families? Whereas the question with Focus Ireland asked, how can we help these families to exit, ex exit homelessness? And that's what Focus Ireland did. And that's what worked. So it is a shift, recognising that for any person, homelessness may be a stage, but it shouldn't, shouldn't be a state. That homelessness can be an experience in any person's life, but it needn't define them. Another part of that project we're developing is we're asking the question, how can we prevent these families from becoming homeless? And again, that was working in a new way. It was putting in place uh, workers, which Focus Ireland employed, to sit in the offices of the local authorities. And when the local authorities were thinking of evicting a family, they would refer it to the worker from Focus Ireland. And again, working intensively with the families, building up their, 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 their social skills, their, their child care skills, their money management skills, all these skills, and helping them so that they would work in a way that they would take responsibility. <coughs> take responsibility for paying their rent, take responsibility for their behaviour. And that's really only starting, but it's working really well. And we're hoping that we will be able to extend that throughout the country. That's one initiative I wanted to talk about. The other one I want to talk about, which is different, 
which, which is also new, and that's called Housing First. And that's working with people sleeping rough. The people who were sleeping rough the longest. <coughs> Many of them have been eight years sleeping rough. Uh, and this is really, the idea is offering them a house first. This initiative was started in New York and has now developed in different states in the United States and, and different cities and also now has extended to Canada and some parts of Europe. And uh, last year, Focus Ireland started this, this initiative with the Peter McVeigh Trust, a joint partnership. And again, it was targeting uh, the people who really had give, whom uh, people had given up on. They were referred to as the hard to reach. They were referred to as the people who don't want to be helped that they had refused help, and they had. They had refused the kind of help that was offered them, which was a bed in a dormitory, in a shelter, or in a hostel. They didn't want that. Many of them, in fact, are afraid of that. But when they were asked, what do you want? They said, we want a house. And when that was taken seriously, and they were offered a house, they responded. And again, this was really a big change, a big shift. Because traditionally, people are put through many hoops before they're offered a house. And um, there are certain conditions laid down. There are conditions like you'll give up the drink, you'll give up the drug, drugs, you'll, you'll take your medication. They're the kind of conditions. So, People are expected to fix it before they're offered a house. So this was a different model. Uh, it was seen, this model was, didn't see them giving up the drink and the drugs and, 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 and taking the medication as one of the objectives. They were personal objectives. But they didn't have to do that in order to qualify for a house. No more than anybody has to fix their life before they get a house. So personal perfection was not a condition of getting a house. Se secondly, it moved away from the old moralistic view that you have to fix it first, and then you'll merit a house. And it recognised that in a, when a person has a house, they can live a human life, and they can take responsibility for their life. And that's something you can't do if you're on the street or if you're in a hostel. This project, a program, Housing First, has started in the States, as I said to you, and it has been evaluated and adapted, and it has worked really well. They now estimate that between 85 and 90% of the people who are offered a house make it. Make it from long-term homelessness to long-term housing. Focus Ireland and the Peter McFerry Trust have started this uh, project last October, we're targeting 150 people who are sleeping rough. Before Christmas, we were, we'd housed six. Since Christmas, we've housed another eight, eight. And it's really showing to be working really well. Nobody knows what they need more than the people who experience whatever they're experiencing. And that's no different for people who are homeless. So people who are homeless no, they want a home. Everybody, the vision of Focus Ireland is that everybody has a right to a place called home. The deepest desire in every human heart is to have a home. We don't express it because we take it for granted. It's no different for people who are homeless. They're exactly like us. Thank you. <laughs>